I'm white trash and I'm in trouble. Relax and take notes while I take totes of the marijuana smoke. Oh, you want to choke? Gun smoke, gun smoke. Yeah, and then I was like. Alright. And what's even more fucked up? I didn't jerk off the regular form. I went on e fucked and got a funny nut. You went on what? Oh my god, you don't know about e fucked? No, I don't know about e fucked. Is there, is there something I need to know about yes, E-Fucked? Oh so their tag is the porn you wish you never saw. This oh, man. <laughs> That's it's not good. Hilarious. That's no, not it's, good. No, it's like, dude, one of the, my favorite ones that I ever saw in there was the black chick. She had a black dude here and a white dude here. And she starts sucking the black dude's dick. She's going, you know, down on her. Oh. She moves over on the white one. She takes a couple of stroke down. <laughs> pukes all over his dick. Oh, man. She does this. His dick made me puke. <laughs> it's, it's clips out of porn where it went wrong. <laughs> we're, oh, hey, we're, rec- we're recording, by the way. <laughs> he just told me about your uh, escapades and... For everything, though? Yeah. Oh, you should have told him. Like, well, I mean, just as long as you don't show the camera. Yeah, no, you just... <laughs> like, this is... What are you doing? <laughs> we're, we're recording. <laughs> we'll edit this part out. <laughs> no, I... <laughs> <laughs> just, like, I'm giving you an example of e-fucked and why you should totally check. No, this out. Uh, no, like I can still play it. It's just that you can't show the camera. That's that. That's Where's fine. The they can't. It's right. It's right there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So here. What the fuck? What, what the fuck? fuck? Wait a second. What is this like a live like... stream or something? No. No. no oh, this oh, is an ad, by the way. Oh, it's just come together. <laughs> yeah. Well, like the Beatles. Yeah. Right I... now, not over me though. <laughs> Over something. Yeah. So it's like, get your hey, get your microphone. This will be funny. Oh. <laughs> it says untouched ginger butthole. By the way, <laughs> it's probably got like fucking Cheetos, cheetah dust in it. So wait, you're so, watching. You're watching like stuff like this to jack up. Yeah, but it actually like goes through it and then like stupid shit like. So, oh, <laughs> take it out. <laughs> <laughs> like push it out. Push it out. Well, let's get to the end where the funny shit's getting set. Okay. There you go. There you go. I love you. She says I love you. <laughs> Oh, and at the beginning he said he doesn't. He does it on the side of the bed, and like they wipe it up with a wet rag. <laughs> hey, it's good that they got the baby wipes. Baby wipes are very handy. <laughs> so it's like meme porn. Put meme, meme yeah, it's porn. Like, dude, my buddy Piff showed me this. <laughs> Piff. Piff. Oh, Piff. Oh, we're talking about butt fucking. Best line is wait. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's enough of it. But like, it's just goofy fucking. Blue. Welcome back to another episode of White Trash and in Trouble. More like White Trash and Horny for Mister EJ. I'm not even hard. <laughs> Yeah, All right, I'm full hard, but you'll never tell. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, buddy? How you doing? <laughs> Living the dream, man. Living so, can we put like our feet in the camera? Are we doing that? Like, that's uh, so we might fucking be, we, grody. we might we might be doing that. I've You're... never seen your feet before. You got very elderly looking feet. What? What you talking about? 
I don't know. It just looks oh, no, that's bruised up because uh, Valor fucking left a bone at the edge of the bed when I jumped out uh, of bed. I freaking uh, right on it. I was like, <gasps> oh! And he does it all the stepping, time. Stepping on your dog's bone. Yeah, and like I'll took, fucking took, stub took, my toe on him. He took Viagra. He's got those big ass, you know, the, yeah. the ham and ox bones and shit. Yeah. And he just leaves them at the foot of the bed or at the side of the bed or in dark areas where I don't have the light on when I'm walking through the house. Just like it pop. Oh! You know, it's his payback for all the times I yell at him to get in the house. Get very yeah. true. Yeah, he's like, I know this is it. Like, <laughs> you know what? You want your fuck or you're going to good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, this is part, this is like twice or three times already where we've announced uh, people that were going to come on. Uh, we had a gentleman that was going to come on, a great friend of ours named Steven Ferreira. Uh, he unfortunately can't make it because he is uh, getting tested for uh, chlamydia. I mean, he's, no, he's going to Brazil. This is the fifth time. <laughs> <laughs> Caw! Caw! <laughs> Can we sponsor out a name like that like, for fun here? Like, Nicole Raven and Jim Crow are a great pair. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Jesus god, Christ. Jesus Christ, you fucking uh, dude! I can't believe she said and Stephen said that she got mad because of that joke, and I'm like, that joke's good. You're fucking doing it, brother. You're doing it. For some reason, I just don't see her getting mad at it. I, why would she get mad at it? It's funny as hell. I mean, like, and I'm not gonna. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> just, just hold on. Just, just hold on. For Pump a the brakes, kid. <laughs> 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 Well, is it because she, she's technically colored? No, whoa, what? <laughs> I was not going in that direction at oh, all. I thought you were... turn. You... <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Mm-hmm. Just saw a sign that said Disneyland left, turn around and went home. <laughs> was it, wasn't there um, a character named Jim Crow in like a Disney movie? Was it like Dumbo or something? I don't know if it was in Dumbo. I know there was a character named Jim Crow in the South. <laughs> No, that's Uncle Remus. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've, I've always wanted to watch that movie. I don't know where to get it. I don't know where to find it. Song of the Hell? Yeah. Dude, fucking... Uh... It, it's not, not on Disney Plus, that's for damn sure. Dude, if it was on <laughs> Disney Plus, I swear to God, I'd make Noah watch it. <laughs> like, 100%. It's not even bad. It was just that the rabbit was like doing black voice and shit. Well, yeah. Isn't that what Bear Rabbit's supposed to be? Come on, that's a hood rabbit, cuz. <laughs> Dude, I still sing that song all the time. Zippity doo da, zippity day. My oh my, what a wonderful day. Zippity doo da. All right, stop. We're gonna get copyright infringement. <laughs> wonderful on. feeling, wonderful day. You know, it'd be really funny if we find that song and we mix it with American Dad's intro. <laughs> I got a feeling that it's gonna be a wonderful day. <laughs> dude, hang on, hang on. You, you, do the music and I'll do the, I'll, I'll do the words. Hang on, dude, dude, dude. yeah. Dude, oh, fuck me, I'm not doing it. Hey, I'll, I'll, I'll do the music. You do the words then. Do do do. Wait, wait for which one? For American Dad. Zippity doo da, zippity day. My oh my, what a wonderful day. Zippity doo da, zippity day. I got a feeling that it's gonna be a wonderful day. The sun and the sky has a spot. If anybody is watching this and can AI make a song, please help us out. <laughs> Maybe fucking we can. I, I don't know how to work AI, to be honest with you. I mean, I've done like AI like art before, and that's really it. Or AI pictures. It's like, oh, I just want to I want to see like, I don't know, Pac-Man fucking Mario, and you can find it. You can, you can make it. Seriously. Okay. I'll message a friend of mine who's really good at doing illegal shit with movies and see if he can find it. I'm just sure, kidding. Sure, I know sure nobody can, that does that. I'm sure you can pirate it. Probably. Yeah, it's got to be somewhere. The Pirate Bay? Uh, oh, shit. Yeah. Am I allowed to say that? I no, I don't want to throw any shit. What, the Pirate Bay? <gasps> no, don't say it out loud. No, we got to edit that out. Why we got to edit it out? Because what if like they got a new one, and then somebody hasn't watched this, and then they find it, and then they Do you know how them? long that website's been going for? Yeah, but you know how many times they got to change their shit? But you know how many times that website's been, it's been going on for a long time. I'm sure Pirate Bay's going to be just fine. There's some good ones out there. U-Torn is still doing good. Yeah. I'm not even gonna name any other names. I think we're, we're this is like snitching. This is like oh. <laughs> we are cyber snitching. C- cyber crypt, cyber bloods. <laughs> oh, oh, gotta adjust this uh, 
this lumbar Just support. Careful, I got a dildo underneath there. So. Sweet. I was wondering what was poking my ass like, and why oop. I liked it so much. Like, boink, <laughs> <laughs> This feels like my uncle. <laughs> oh, my God, my uncle. <laughs> so you ready for Saturday? Saturday is our show in Ocala, correct? Big show. Yeah, Ooh, baby. Bro, I'm always ready to get on stage and make a fool of myself. Hell yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Yeah, I do. Honestly, I don't know how many people were coming. I mean, I'm afraid it might be a lot. And I'm like, oh my God, how many people can we fit in this fucking place? Never afraid. Especially after no. I just did a show in front of two people the other night. So I'm like, <laughs> fucking, let's do this, bro. Hey, I, I did tap this for fucking six people. <laughs> Our loved one, Scott, was like, dude, are you fucking sick? I'm not getting sick for six people, bro. And he took the mic. <laughs> he wrapped fucking paper towels around it like he was cleaning up a spill with Ronnie. <laughs> I was like, Yo, he, he's really upset about this. And I was like, you want to change that mic out for you? Those shows are fun, though. I I, oh, I, yeah. I like doing like shows like that, which is just fucking around and just hanging with friends. And, you know, we need to do a workshop and we need to actually just we, pull the trigger. We do. I mean, dude, that fucking thing we did at... um. Uh, Vino and Vibes oh, Before yeah. they stopped it Dude that was like Fun as hell We were just Dicking around Doing whatever we fucking I mean not every, Whatever we wanted But uh Oh that's what we did The other night We legit did a workshop Where it was like Alright all new stuff And let's see what we can do With this I told that Kim Jong joke You know About his daughter Being named the successor And I was like I'm not normally one For supporting dictators But that's a bitch I could get behind and they all pulled up as like a nine year old girl. <laughs> and I was like, whatever, I'm going for it. <laughs> <laughs> like, I already said this shit in a microphone a couple of times. I'm sticking to it. And then I had to actually show them like who was named the successor, you know? And she's like older. And they're like, oh, because I thought like you were joking about being a pedophile. And I was like, I mean, if it's funny, you're all fucking use it. <laughs> <clears throat> Pedophilia Shh. is bad. Don't do it. Don't fuck kids. I still think Louis C.K.'s joke about uh, how to get rid of pedophiles is fucking amazing. Which one was that? I don't think I should say it. It's really bad. I like David Off's joke about pedophiles. What, what's, how does his joke go? He goes, uh, maybe the problem isn't all these pedophiles. Maybe it's all these sexy fucking kids. <laughs> oh, I've heard that one. <laughs> and whenever he gets a laugh, he's like, you guys would be surprised how much that doesn't work. <laughs> 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 Well, like, well, Lu- you can see him getting chased out of town with a fork. <laughs> well, Louis' joke was, uh, I'm pretty sure you probably heard it. Uh, it's, it's fairly recent. It, it says like, yeah, I mean, people were like, yeah, we got to stop pedophiles. We got to, you know, kill all pedophiles. Well, that means we got to kill kids. I mean, kids become pedophiles. Right. You know? <laughs> so I was like, whoa, <laughs> damn. We should totally edit out us telling somebody else's fucking jokes. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's already been said. I mean, we said those aren't our jokes. So yeah, clarifying. Fuck you. I say way worse. So, all right. <laughs> We're getting way, way off topic here. So, for the ones who don't know, White Trash and In Trouble, EJ and I, and we're white Steven trash. over there. Yeah, we're White Trash. Uh, now we- <laughs> Steven's, uh, was it Chlamydia? Chlamydia. Chlamydia results are here with us today, and it says... He is HIV positive. <laughs> uh, HIV positive. Wow. Uh, so, yes, White Trash and In Trouble. The, uh, what we do is we find crazy, insane articles online about people that are white trash and then get in trouble. So, yours was about the guy who got arrested for saying, I'm fixing to blow this shit up. Yeah, no, he almost got arrested. Like, oh, they oh, had a bomb threat at a yeah. Home Depot. Yeah. That's brilliant. <laughs> and then mine I'm about was, to blow this place up. Get up. <laughs> and then mine was a teenage boy named Mangina. <laughs> Mangina, who, Mangina. Who tried to uh, rob a car, but didn't know how to drive stick shift. <laughs> it's fucking funny. Millennial cup. So, <laughs> so I think I started last week. So you want to go ahead and start with yours? Yes. This is not crazy. This is not insane. This is an active crime, and we are trying to find who did it. Oh, Yes. This is going to be serious. This actually recent, very did, recently happened. When did we say we we're going to do the celebrity one? Like, what what, what day, what time of the month? Because uh, I know we I don't have about... that. My wife does. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Fuck a comedian here. <laughs> Whenever. <laughs> Hold on. I got to get past E fucked. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I have a quick question about your articles. Do you, do you like, search for them, like, days prior or, like, the day of? Let's be real with each other. 
like the day of it's not like 20 minutes beforehand yeah. like i'll see stuff and i'm like yeah yeah i could easily do that and i never like my brain has too many things that go on at one time yeah and then like i have a million news articles that are open on my phone like long mm-hmm. before we ever did even did this podcast where i'm like i'm reading this I'll follow up on it, and I never follow back up on it. It's just yeah. if people get through my phone, like there's a lot that's gonna go down. First of all, like this guy likes porn, current events, <laughs> you know, like current sports, events. history. <laughs> He's all over the place. He loves history. <laughs> he hasn't finished a fucking article. <laughs> I have like four different. The only books. articles you finish are the ones that we shit on on white trash and in trouble. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. So, read the goddamn article. All right. Article. So. To the cocksucker in Pasco County, Florida, that drove up to the Dunkin' Donuts. Bitch, we gonna find your ass. All right? So, some cuck rolled up to a Dunkin'. I'm gonna show the picture. Hopefully, you can put the picture in picture thing where it uh, actually shows his face. You you don't have that chat muted yet? (laughs) Not in this case. (laughs) Uh, That's not even a good picture of it. Here we go. I don't want to watch the video. I want to try to zoom in on this picture here. Stop. Uh, whatever. We'll put it up on the thing. Yeah. But this guy went to a Dunkin' Donuts, and it was over off of 19, and he got a free coffee, and he pelted it in the lady's face. At the drive thru and like burned her face up pretty good. And they're like, they're trying to find out who did it. What was the reason? Just cuz. So he, so he was yeah. just like, oh, I don't give a fuck what your coffee, reason was. You got a man. free coffee? That bitch saved you five bucks and you burn her face for it? Like, what a cunt muscle, bro. What, what a fuck? What the like, fuck, man? Like, I, I don't, say, I'm not saying that I have done something like this. I know people and I used to date. People that worked in fast food. Get, and you know, when you bonsai somebody with a milkshake, that's different. Yeah, you're, you're not going to burn their face off. They're, 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 they're going to they're gonna have a fucking bukkake of, of fucking <laughs> yeah. sugar and ice cream a fucking and strawberry milkshake across your face. All right. Well, you know, that's your friend. You love them. They yeah. know who you are. <laughs> Don't do that either. <laughs> well, EJ got mad because he was uh, eating soup with a fork and was like, God damn it. Threw it right back at the chef's face. It wasn't even ramen noodles either. <laughs> Pure no. broth. No, it was fucking egg drop soup. And I know the little Asian dude put his nuts in there because I heard him go, oh, you want egg drop soup? You want fucking egg drop soup? Huh? And You want the fucking egg drop soup? Yeah. Huh? Huh? And there was, a, there was a hint of soy to it. So I know he was definitely a feminist. Ew. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's right. I said soy boy. I did that. Nice. So that's a great way to answer. Is there yeah. more to the story? No, that's it. This is I had to get this out and off my chest. Fuck you, you douchebag. Do you know how much I have to spend when I go to Dunkin'? All right? Fuck you. I've never got a free drink from Dunkin'. Even when they fuck my coffee up, I still have to pay. I would have fucking kissed that girl through the drive-thru. Even with my wife in the passenger seat. Well, I'm just trying free? to I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, like, you want me to suck your dick? I'm just trying to figure what was the reason. I mean, it wasn't like an ex girlfriend or it wasn't like oh. a sister in law. No, no. Was it a They're, sister that wouldn't fuck him or anything? <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure they would have found the guy if everybody knew who he was. But his picture, that's the guy. And it's funny because online, like the the like TikTok and all that, it's, it's this is spreading pretty bad. Yeah. You know, it's becoming a, a very hot article. It was like a few days ago that it happened. You know, and they still haven't found him that I know of. No, you oh, know, I, find I didn't research that hard. However, I love that if you look at the guy, you definitely have to put the picture into this uh, while we're talking about it. Okay, you, so that you, way you show the camera. Well, I don't want to like advertise a website and all that on here. Well, because uh, certain websites don't pay me any money. E fucked. If you're listening, like you should totally pay me because I talk about you guys to everybody. I think it's hilarious. E fuck. Yeah, sponsor EJ. <laughs> EJ E fucked. Like so many guys have Pornhub on their ass when they're like fighting in a cage. I want E fucked on my chest when I'm on a comedy <laughs> stage. <laughs> There are some great funny videos on there And listen, if you're watching this And you judge me for watching porn Go fuck yourself No, seriously, like go on a site and type it in There's nothing wrong with porn at all But this isn't even like I happened to do a happy nut this morning Laughing to this video Just because I was already going to jerk off And I was in the mood However, 
that has nothing to do with this. This is funny fucking porn. This I've, is shit like that, like the bloopers of porn. <laughs> Check out E Fucked. You're welcome. E Fucked. I oh want. I want some sponsorship money. Oh <laughs> uh, fucking EJ. 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 What are we gonna do with you? So the verdict. Is, the verdict is. Guy from Pasco County, he is white trash and in trouble. Yeah, your passenger that's in the seat with in the car with him, fuck you, you're white trash and in trouble too. And I don't care. What's really funny is everybody arguing if the guy's black or not. Yeah, I, I saw a little bit of. Uh, there's some melon in there. We just can't tell what type. Some melon. <laughs> <laughs> there's that. I mean, pigmentation. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that like caught the fucking pink too. <laughs> I didn't think we need a fucking whisper in here. <laughs> yeah. Yo, you want to see what somebody sent me earlier today? I'm not showing this on the camera, but this is gonna be a good one because we get a nice little inside laugh. And fuck you guys, you are not privy to this. <laughs> good, 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 solid meme. Oh, so all right. I love life. So yeah, to the guy that threw the fucking free coffee that you got at Dunkin' that everybody else has to pay seven dollars for, you piece of shit. Fuck you, you're white fuck trash you. We're gonna trouble. find you. And to the person that was in the passenger seat, you're white trash and in trouble too, because you should tell on him for that. <laughs> that girl got hospital bills. All right, ish. Yeah, and you know Duncan has some shitty insurance for sure. Yeah, you know they fucking basically run a slave shop. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Want to be sponsored by Starbucks? <laughs> so, yeah. This. All right, this one, I already sponsored by Wawa. Fuck that. Yo, if we're being real about it, yeah. I want to get sponsored by like Burn Steakhouse. <laughs> like I love steak and blowjobs, so if there's something like. That's it. Is that why they call it burns after a blowjob? It burns when you eat the steak and blowjob. If you're getting the burns from burns, you did not go to burns. Oh, my God. <laughs> you fucked a hooker at Longhorn. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Let's be more realistic because Longhorn's actually pretty good. You fucked a whore at Applebee's. <laughs> or Chili's. We're just name dropping, trying to get sponsorship Apple everywhere. Be- Applebee's. God, I when I think of Applebee's now, I think of Kurt Ryan and his memes. It's like when you get when you get kicked out of the open mic at Applebee's. <laughs> it's like I'm an edgy comedian. I thought this was America. <laughs> okay. Kurt Ryan is a national treasure. He has not been discovered yet nope. in the Tampa area. But listen, when it comes to pristine tism delivery, you cannot beat Kurt Ryan. No, like everybody that makes their jokes about having autism on stage, you know, I'm just like, dude. Like his, nope. jo- like his jokes are, are like, I fake autism just to get pussy. That's fucking hilarious. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> I would love to see him I on do. Love on the Spectrum, just to like cl- clown on the entire show. He's like, he's like, please don't fucking touch me. I don't want to be touched. <laughs> so speaking of Love on the Spectrum, so you know Shannon and I watch that, right? Yeah, well, and, me, me uh, and Ryan like watch Down too, for yeah. Love. Uh, we watched the first episode. Uh, we got to We got to watch more. So let me let me put out my like, like, like heartfelt like softy moment here. Mm-hmm. Um, I love it because like to people that make excuses for oh I can't do that I can't oh you know whatever, fuck you dude. These people have a mental deficiency you know where they struggle to do the normal things but they're excited. <laughs> like we're like fuck I gotta go to work, dude. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Tanner, okay, Tanner on Love on the Spectrum. Tanner, Tanner's a G. I fucking love Tanner. Tanner's enthusiasm for going to work. He's not like, I gotta, I gotta make money to fucking maintain a job. No, Tanner's like, I get to go to work. I get to sweep. I get to cook. I get to do this. You know, he's excited about it. Like, if more people took that joy out of the simple things in life, the world would be such a better place. Now for the shitty piece of shit part that I am. <laughs> Hold on. Um, I actually am subscribed and I watch the YouTube channel Special Books by Special Kids. Do you know that one? Uh-uh. It's this guy who, like, uh, goes around and interviews, like, people with, like, a certain special needs or uh, um, just disabilities or whatever. And, and Tanner was on there. Oh, yeah? I recognized him and his roommate when they were in college. And, I, and they're, they're talking about, like, oh, what would they like to do for fun during uh, during uh, uh, college? They're like, well, we, we like to uh, play Mario Kart. I'm like, I want to fuck with these guys. These guys <laughs> seem awesome. I fucking love Mario Kart, man. Hell yeah. But um, anyway, yeah, shout out to 
everybody on Love on the Spectrum down for love. Y'all, y'all are fucking G's. Yeah, they're like living proof that you can do it. When did we turn into a motivational podcast? Now! <laughs> now it's a demotivational podcast. <laughs> fuck you, EJ. <laughs> no, fuck that. I'm going to finish this. My uncle had Down syndrome and learned to play guitar. If you think that you can't did do something... Really? Yeah. Really? You play, you play guitar? Yep. No shit. Yep. That's fucking awesome. Uh, yep. Shout out to Uncle Tommy. Rest in peace. All right. Rest in peace, Uncle Tommy. Yeah. Uh, so if you think his, you can't do cabin? something, it's because you're a lazy cock! Where's his cabin, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> My Uncle Tom. <laughs> Yeah, he was a simple one. <laughs> was he peeping? No. <laughs> I mean, dude, if he was normal, he would have been pulling puss, bro. <laughs> nice. again, go to a doctor's office, and he's like, that's my girlfriend. Like, oh, my that's girlfriend. your girlfriend, bro. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. All right. <laughs> so I've been trying to get this going for a couple minutes, but EJ's like, I just want to interrupt Scotty today. <laughs> yeah, let's talk more about some Todds. <laughs> yes. So this T-O-D-D. Ha- so this came from CBS News Boston. Uh, from July 23rd, 2018 at 5.50 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Police. Naked man arrested at Planet Fitness said he, he thought it was a judgment-free zone. Who does that remind you of? The far- the pharmacist? <laughs> the apothecary guy? <laughs> <laughs> you had to drop an apothecary in there. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> fuck that judgment-free zone shit. Yeah. It irks the hell out of me because on the other side of their wall, they have lunk alarm. Yeah. Look at Johnny in his white t-shirt fucking flexing <laughs> and too much weight. Like, hello. Dude, I love the video of the dude at Planet Fitness who fucking purposely wants to put the lunk alarm on. And he got a fucking little barbell just went, yeah! <laughs> <You> okay. <laughs> Quite fucking funny, actually. All right. A Massachusetts man apparently learned the hard way. (laughs) Was he hard? (laughs) Don't know. Uh, That the judgment-free zone philosophy at Planet Fitness only goes so far. Police say 34-year-old Eric Stagno was was walking around naked at the Pleisto gym before settling in on the yoga mats. Oh, you know, he had like a poopy butt. And, like, uh, the yoga mat's so dirty. He had protein shake booty. <laughs> <laughs> like, I bet you anything, like, the fucking, like, like the fucking dudes named, like, Trevor and his little girlfriend named, like, Catherine had to clean him up. They are just like, oh, we work part-time here. We shouldn't be cleaning this, Jerry. <laughs> clean it, motherfucker. I can't do a judgment-free zone with your 7-Eleven feet up near me, bro. <laughs> 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 Bro, my best friend in the whole world fucking hates feet so much that he <laughs> cock blocked himself because a girl put her feet up on his bed. <laughs> like, kicked her flip flops off and slid over, and he was like, Get your fucking feet off my bed. <laughs> I, I like the one uh, interview that Cat Williams did with that lady. He said, You look like you have dirty feet. Don't dare fucking talk oh, to look, me. She tried to shit on him before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your chain's only worth $35. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Cat Williams. Did, did you watch his uh, episode on Rogan? I was actually watching it. That's great. Walker. It's a fucking great episode. All right. The Haverhill man was arrested without incident and charged with indecent exposure, lewdness, and disorderly conduct. That is what he looks like. Bro, that looks like Manny Avila's cousin. <laughs> <laughs> Tranny Avila. <laughs> Shout out to Manny. <laughs> He's a hell of a guy. I was just on this podcast yesterday. <laughs> Love that guy. The only statement that he made was that he thought it was a judgment-free zone. Apparently referencing the chain's slogan, ca- uh, police captain Brett Morgan told WBZ-TV, gym goers who saw Stagno's naked exercise reported feeling disgusted, sick, and unsafe, Morgan said. Oh, did I bet you anything like a bunch of dudes are like, looking straight into his asshole when he was like doing like deadlifts and stuff? Listen, as someone who goes to Planet Fitness. Naked? Okay. No. <laughs> if you've ever been in the men's locker room, you've seen a fucking naked dude. Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, that's, the spo- the- that's where we're supposed to be. <laughs> Why do you think I hang out in locker rooms all the time? <laughs> men's ones. The old dudes getting out of the shower, just dicks hanging out, and they're like, hey. Remember, Remember uh, what's that movie? Uh, Austin Powers when they're in the... Um, the sumo wrestlers' little fucking locker rooms, and Fat Basher goes to Beyonce, Hey, diaper lady! I got my diaper. Ooh, great fragrance. And then Austin's like, You really are a fat bastard. 
<laughs> Dude, fucking every time I'm in a locker room, especially at a gym, it smells like diarrhea and BO. Yes. And that's what it should dire, smell like. Dire BO. Mm. <sighs> Progress! <laughs> <laughs> Stack Noble is released on a $1,000 bail and is due to, to uh, Plasto, Pl- Plasto Circuit Court on September 21st. For th- first. Um, shut the fuck up, EJ. Um, <clears throat> there's not a lot of... You, you see what he does to me, everybody? You're such a bully! Uh, but there's there's no further other shit that's going on with that guy. I'm, I'm sure he's probably naked. I like the YMCA now. Yeah, he's a fucking asshole. So you know he had to be like, What the fuck? I thought this was a fucking judgment free zone. Free? <laughs> judgment free zone. Free. You know, they, got, they, they don't have R's over there. <laughs> I'm trying to set off the lunk alarm. <laughs> Ma, fuck you. <laughs> hey, after this, we getting fucking Duncan or not? <laughs> Would you rather suck my dick or be Bill Buckner? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Suck my dick or be Bill Buckner? Well, not like one of those from Southie. <laughs> yeah, you hey, like that self-censorship? Did, is Bill Buckner alive? Who cares? I'm, I'm curious. Who the fuck is Bill Buckner? <laughs> Do you, well, I wasn't. Al- we probably weren't even alive, actually. No, you. I definitely wasn't. You might not have been. He was the guy that on for the Red Sox. Wait, who, time out. On the fucking Bro, what? How would you be alive and I'm not? I said. I. I said I was definitely not alive. You might have. Oh. Been. Okay. I got dyslexia when it comes to hearing. <laughs> Bill Buck. <sighs> the name is ringing a bell, but I can't. I gotta. Oh, see he's him. dead. Sweet. He is dead. Fuck Bill. So he's the guy. On the game, game like six or seven of the fucking 1986 World Series, who oh, you missed it. fucking missed yeah, okay. the ground ball. <laughs> the whole city of Boston. I fuck Bill Buckner. Fuck that motherfucker. <laughs> like, 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 do you think, like, I, I couldn't even imagine, like, you know, going to, like, bars in Boston and, you know, no one, no one want anything to do with it. It's like being that one guy from the Cubs. Oh, no, not from the Cubs, but he was a Cubs fan who uh, blocked that foul ball from Sammy Sosa. No, not Sammy Sosa. That, okay, that Moses happens Alou, a Kershen. lot. That happens a lot. Yeah, but, they're, but they were like in the AL, in the NLCS or NLDS or something back in like the 90s. Whatever, it's a game. Then my competitive side would fucking flip out. For that. Like, you're my fucking shit! No, dude, I think it's a tough point period paragraph. When you're in a tough sports town, you know, like some cities ride or die with their teams. Like, you got shit, shit bag areas like Philly, you know, <laughs> that fucking throw batteries and shit at Santa Claus, you know. You got, like, the Redskins, they freaking, they were snowballing Santa and you all that, You mean the too. Commanders? Fuck that, they'll Dude, be the Redskins. I feel like the Commanders is worse. <laughs> yeah, than, it's than... much worse. You got rid of the Indian, and the people that fucking killed them are now the team. <laughs> you got the white guy <laughs> that's in charge. The fucking... <laughs> Commanders. You got the cavalry that like, killed if they, them off. If they really wanted to fucking make things right, they would change it to the Comanches. They weren't in that they, area. Yeah, they weren't in there. No. Weren't, weren't they like in like what Arizona? What Comanches? Yeah. Comanches were Texas and into the Oklahoma area. Close enough. Yeah, sure. It's fucking close enough. <laughs> it's all former Mexico. <laughs> United States of Mexico. <laughs> Well, right now it definitely is. We got too many of you fucking people over there. <laughs> you people. <laughs> Come here legally like our ancestors did. <laughs> Open up Dude, a bar. some shit we say that. Open up right. a bar. All you got to do is just fucking be from, be from uh, Ireland. Open up a bar. Develop this kind of accent. And boom, you, you, you're fucking American now, man. No, then you're from Boston. <laughs> you're from, no, no you're, you're, an, you're, a, you're an Irish fuck. Boss, I don't know. Where am I going with this right now? I don't fucking know. Don't you fucking lost know me three either. turns ago when you took the first exit to Disneyland. <laughs> Disneyland? It's a callback from earlier in the episode. I'm white trash and I have Asperger's. <laughs> and they are delicious. He's tried them. Twice. Deluxe. Figurously. <laughs> when I, and when I shart, it is Big Mac sauce. <laughs> This might come as a surprise to you because of my stature. I've never had a Big Mac. You're not missing out on anything. I've heard. I've heard they're not that good. I like Quarter Pounders better. Well, I haven't. Well, I don't eat McDonald's. Shocker. Sorry. I just don't. McDonald's is disgusting. I got, 
<laughs> I have way more fucking class than to eat a shitty McDonald's That's burger. why it goes to Taco Bell. <laughs> Oh, here and there. Like, <laughs> you shouldn't have admitted to it. <laughs> I mean, I... You know who's going to Taco Bell when I called him earlier? Trey. Trey was? Yeah, three automobiles. Truck automobile. <laughs> Dude, I have him saved in my phone. Is how close is that to Popeye's? <laughs> <laughs> Trey has a big problem with uh, high school baseball games. <laughs> No, because when he when he told me he got thrown out, I was like, "Were you like Randy Marsh? Got to fight with, with, the, with the other dads? What now, bro? Nope. What you gonna do, bro? <laughs> no, 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 no. Nope. Let's just let, let's, let's just say it includes Kramer. <laughs> let's just say we're not gonna talk about this at all. <laughs> as much EJ wants to, he's just like, oh man. Like he definitely went for Jimi Hendrix. <laughs> no, they ended up going for Jimmy Crow. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> Call back, <laughs> Steven. <laughs> Hope that your chlamydia test does better this time. Same. <laughs> anyway, the bot, the Bostonian guy. He's white trash and he's in trouble. Big, yeah, big trouble. I don't like, want you in wanna, wicked bad trouble. I don't want to see some fucking hairy guys. It's like what they the Andrew Dice Clay joke. What makes you want to think? Oh, that hairy asshole looks nice. <laughs> <laughs> is, is, that, is, that, is that how the joke goes? It's close enough. Close enough. Yeah, I don't fucking. I mean, come on, it's not my joke. So, what, what makes you want to think? How does it go? You know it better. Than I know. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Why? We set ourselves up enough for trouble. <laughs> Well, we're not white trash. He's like, uh, I don't get how a man can look at another man's hairy ass and get a hard on. <laughs> oh, that's how it goes. Close enough. <laughs> this has been a fucking strange we episode. We are white trash. And we are in, in trouble. trouble. <laughs> we ever get canceled, well, we're going to flick back to this episode. <laughs> dude, we're, we're... Starts with a fuck Bill Buckner and goes downhill. D- dude, we're... We're doing just fine. <laughs> we're gonna get, we, have, we have to have careers. We're, we're going to get a cease and desist whenever something comes up. We're going to be like, Duncan doesn't like you. McDonald's doesn't like you. The horse meat people at Taco Bell don't like you. It's like the Prod Boys don't even like you. You guys are way too hardcore. <laughs> the pro- oh, that took a second to hit in the back of the head like what they were. I don't even know what they are. All I know is that it's like they're, like, they're like Antifa, but on the other side. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're just like, like Antifa is just like, oh, we're gonna use fascism to handle fascism. Yeah, instead of throwing bricks, they're laying them. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> no, they're throwing bricks, uh, dude. So speaking of like you know that type of extremist organization. I had a stupid argument earlier, mm-hmm. and it's kind of, uh, it's in my head, so I'm going to vent about it. Please do. All right. Person said, uh, person said, I forget what started it, but he said, oh, it's like the worst organization in the world is the Ku Klux Klan. Keep going. Oh, no, no, sorry. He said the worst organization in the world was the Nazis, and I was like, wait, you're calling them an organization like, you know, like they've raise funds for charity or something. No, I think the Klan is worse than the Nazis. And he was like, what? Why? And I was like, well, at least the Nazis showed their face when they committed their atrocities. And I think that's a key factor to it. And he goes, yeah, but the, the Nazis killed like 6 million people. And I was like, Neh. and they weren't all Nazis. Most of them were just German soldiers. <laughs> well, most, well, most had no choice. Yeah. Well, when you're jacked up on freaking pervidin, you know, <laughs> Which is methamphetamine chocolate, if you don't know. Yeah, you've seen that video of Hitler fucking going <clears throat> at, the, at the Olympics. He's shaking he, his he, hand. He looked like a special Olympian. Yeah, he had a quack doctor that was juicing him up on freaking heroin and amphetamines and shit. Well, that's how it's been going today. I'm like, like, dude, when they I say I w- he was a hypochondriac, we should save this for the history podcast that we're about to do. Yeah, we should. I mean, we could fucking just end this now and, 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 just, and, just, talk, and just talk about it now. Actually, we can continue it, and I could fucking just split in half. 